Kyle Busch has won two Cup Series titles. Dale Earnhardt Sr. won seven, six with Richard Childress Racing. When Busch announced he was joining RCR last year, it was only natural for fans to see how the pair had success in winning multiple championships in common, nothing more than that. However, Clint Boyer saw it differently. He revealed as much by comparing the two regularly during Fox broadcast. Dell Jr. took notice and even addressed the subject on his podcast, questioning Boyer's repeated remarks. This week, after Fox's NASCAR coverage ended, the analyst appeared on Sirius XM NASCAR radio and didn't hesitate to do it again. To start the 2022 season, no one had Kyle Busch going to Richard Childress Racing on their bingo card. No one. But it happened. And it's proven to be quite fruitful in the season's first 16 races, with the 38-year-old making three trips to Victory Lane in 2023. After Busch won for the first time at Fontana in the second race of the season, Dell Earnhardt Jr. reviewed the race on the Dell Jr. download and talked about how he was hopeful that this new chapter at Childress would be a good one for the future Hall of Famer. During that discussion, podcast co-host Mike Davis raised the topic of how some in the industry were drawing comparisons between Bush and junior seven-time champion father. Earnhardt offered his thoughts on the topic. Well, I think that the comparison ends that they are winners and they're champions, but there's really nothing between the two, and I know both of them pretty well. Uh, there's nothing else that, that, that reminds me of either one of them, right? Um, I, I wonder why uh, Clint says that every broadcast, uh, very emphatically. And uh, I don't, you know, I kind of wonder what he's, what he, what he sees that maybe we don't see. It's not Dale Earnhardt. I'm just saying we don't need to like. It's just almost like a lazy narrative. Junior openly questioning Boyer and how he could possibly see some type of connection between the two drivers that others, including himself, are unable to see is a pretty telling comment. Fast forward to several weeks ago and the race at Worldwide Technology Raceway, where Bush recorded his third win of the season. In the post-race interview, team owner Richard Childress was asked about his driver. And he made an interesting comment. You know, he's Kyle has been uh, really, I mean, he's such a you know, pleasure to work with. You know, everybody said, man, how y'all going to get along? Same question they asked me about, you and Dale won't last six months. We lasted 20 years. I want to keep Kyle there, and hopefully we can end his career when he gets ready to. Childress's remarks were specific to his relationships with the individual drivers. He wasn't comparing their driving styles. He could leave that to Boyer. That's because this past week, and a couple of days after concluding Fox's coverage of the NASCAR Cup Series season in 2023, the 44-year-old former driver made an appearance on Sirius XM NASCAR radio, where he visited with Brad Gilley and his Fox TV teammate Larry McReynolds. The former Stuart Haas racing driver was asked what he thought about RCR and if they were a contender for the championship this season. Unsurprisingly, Boyer went to a familiar place. They're literally the front runner for the championship and have the Dale Earnhardt isk behind the wheel. Now, mind you, I know I'm, I'm headstrong when I say this. The driver behind the wheel shows glimpses of, of what Dale Earnhardt did behind the wheel. His restarts, his, his intimidator persona, all of that is, a, is, is in Kyle Busch inside the race car. Boyer acknowledged in his comments that he's headstrong or stubborn about the comparison between Bush and Earnhardt. It's odd how Boyer, like Earnhardt said, sees something no one else does, like suggesting Bush has an intimidator persona. Did Boyer not hear Bush's remarks this year about there being a lack of respect in the garage? He started that entire conversation. That's hardly the sign of someone who is out there trying to intimidate others on the track. In fact, drivers have consistently said how Bush races hard but clean. Boyer appears to be alone in his argument. For the rest of the season, fans won't have to hear those comparisons between Bush and Earnhardt with NBC taking over the second half coverage. What's interesting to think about is if Bush continues on this same pace and wins his third championship. 
Boyer will likely try and use that to bolster his argument. And you can be sure Junior will reiterate how the comparison, at least when it comes to driving styles, still doesn't hold true.